Thanksgiving weekend is upon us. It is, and we're just a week away from Thanksgiving. And if you're like most people, it will be filled with food, family, and football. Mommy Magic's Mary Susan is back with us this morning with all the things you need to know to combine all three into a fun and casual. We're having casual too much fun. We always have fun, I, especially fun. when you arrive in the building. <laughs> we get excited because you got something so creative and fun. This gathering board, first of all, what it, I mean, it's incredible. You called it funky. Yeah, funky. I like the fact that you called it funky. It's quirky. It's fun. We're really talking about how to simplify because food, family, football, mm -hmm. some of those years that you have multi-generational people in your home, whether yeah. grandparents, you have college kids coming home, the energy can get kind of weird. Yeah. Like It's like tradition or should we break the tradition? Expectations, yes. like what does your parent, what do your elderly parents, what, what do your grandparents, then your yeah. college kids come coming in hot from yeah. wherever they're, I have adult kids, I have high school kids. So harnessing that energy really is about preparing and simplifying for you, whoever the host is, just take these things into consideration. They're very affordable, they're very easy. Um, have a funky Thanksgiving, right? right? That's what we're talking about. So one of, one of the things I've kind of utilized over the years, you know, not breaking from tradition all the time, we okay. still have traditions, but we kind of adjust due to what ages your kids are, because your family dynamic changes based on the age of your kids, right? So one of the things I have found that work, if you have college kids or adult kids coming home, or people staying under your roof for the Thanksgiving weekend, yeah. so you're not just living in the kitchen, is utilizing this grazing board. And this is one of the most amazing gifts I've ever received, um, but you can find them on Amazon, but it's called a grazing board and it's much larger than a charcuterie board, okay. but you put it out and you can put things out on it that can stay for the entire weekend that are kind of grab and go at people's leisure. And it's very simple too. It's very simple. So peanut bars are one of my favorite things because now peanuts come in like every flavor. Mm -hmm. They come with like infused with bourbon or you know all the things. So put out a peanut bar, it can stay out all weekend. People grab and go at their leisure, whatever fruit you might have on hand, dried fruit is great, yogurt pretzels. But what's wonderful about this, this is something that you can graze all weekend long and yeah. it's a grab and go kind of thing. I love it. And you're not cleaning up all weekend, Daniel. And it, w when it looks like that, all you have to do is just put the caps back on it and move to the you next move thing. move on. Again, the grazing board, find one, it's great. We do want to be cozy. Oh, cozy's the best. Thank you, Jim O'Brien, for the amazing weather. But in case it turns, we got to be prepared. And I love this stuff because I put it by my back door, like on a bench, yeah. and people grab and go. So whether you're doing a tailgate and you're headed down to the Oaken Bucket game, or you're doing a bonfire, these are very inexpensive throws. Um, faux fur is very in. Uh, they're very inexpensive. And I just fill up big plaid throws, faux fur throws. Put it by the back door and people grab and go and i don't think about it until i have to wash them all right and so finally we have the drink station we can't forget about that we can't and we can't forget about the cowbell when you are actually cheering for your home team <laughs> so these are great finds on amazon when you're cheering on your home team you need a little more cowbell you found these right on amazon? i found these on amazon they're very affordable fantastic and i put those next to the blankets everybody grabs and goes with a cowbell and with a little cozy blanket i need yeah. more food Bring you more food. <laughs> Drink stations don't have to be expensive. They can just be a hot beverage station. You can do cocoa, you can do cider. But the point is, is this? this is the trick. If you're going to invest in anything, invest in a frother. Now that's going to go everywhere when you put on it. Okay, so, but when you put your hot chocolate in there or your milk, grab one of these frothers. They're under $10, they're fantastic. And you just stick it in the milk or the hot chocolate and it foams it all up. This is your like- Your individual- Your individual frother. Your individual yes. frother. Yes, here, I, I'm giving, that's my gift to you. I never knew what this was. I was like, what is this Keep thing? Keep it simple. Thank you. Don't be stressed. But this, I, I won't take this. Yes, enjoy um, your friends, your family, and most of all, um, hope everybody has a blessed Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving to you. Happy, Happy Thanksgiving. holidays. Yes. Appreciate you coming on this morning. Mary Susan is our family lifestyle expert. She has a blog as well as a podcast and a lot of other great holiday ideas. We'll connect you over at fox59.com. Jim?